Today I was asked by a customer, is it a big job to change the O-rings on a coupling? Now here you can see we have, there's three large O-rings at the bottom here and two slightly smaller ones at the top. Now these should be changed periodically, uh, roughly every six months because as these become frayed and worn, what happens is you start to get air and water leaks. So if you're finding a bit of a leak at the coupling, at the base of the handpiece when it's connected, there's a good chance that the O-rings will need replaced. So <clears throat> to replace the O-rings, now first of all what you should be doing is checking exactly where they are seated. The bottom three are equally spaced and there's a gap in the middle here. There's one groove in the middle. You want to make sure you're not putting an O-ring on that groove. And at the top, you can see where the top two are, there's a hole through the middle here. That's your drive air hole which drives the, the handpiece, you want to make sure that these are going where they need to go. So get um, a little pick or something similar, and this can be a little bit footery, but once you get in underneath, it's simply a matter of turning the handpiece and pulling it off, like so. And you should end up with all the O-rings off like that. Now as I say you can see there are a lot of ridges here so you need to make sure you know where they're coming off. It might be a good idea to take a picture of it with um, your phone with all the O-rings in place so that then you can use that as a reference whenever you're putting them back on again. So to put them back on again uh, what I would start what I would start with is the smaller O-rings so just apply them and you need to stretch these a little bit now they can go flying um, out of your hand so you need to be very careful just roll them down where they need to go so you're starting with the top one and you can see I haven't covered the drive air hole now the second one now that will drop into where the drive air hole is there Again, just use your little pick and stretch it out gently and just roll it into that next groove down there, like so. And you can see the drive air hole is still clear. And work your way down until you get the other three on as well. What I'd advise doing then is try your handpiece on it, check to see if the water leak gone. Um, if it hasn't, there's a chance that there's uh, a leak internally in the handpiece itself and it will probably have to be sent in for repair. And that's how simple it is. Uh, Sendable rings there, you're talking about five or six pounds. Saves you having to wait to send the, the coupling in. Something very easy that you can uh, do yourself. 